In this short video tutorial, I'm going to look at exercise 3 from tutorial 6. If we read the exercise, the two words that should jump out at us are randomly distributed. This should tell us that we should be looking at the Poisson distribution because if things are randomly distributed, counts of them should follow the Poisson distribution. So here we've got the Poisson distribution formula from the statistical manual. It is e to the minus mu or mean times the mean raised to the power of r divided by r factorial. And r is the number of events of interest, which is either 0 for no stem borers, 1 for 1 stem borer, or 2 for 2 stem borers. So here I've started to work out the results. I've listed a column where I've got the number of borers in the plant, 0, 1, or 2. The observed number of plants with that, 45, 50, and 5, for 100 plants in total. And then I need to work out the mean number of borers per plant. These plants have no borers. These 50 plants give us one borer. And these five plants, because they have two borers, give us an extra 10 borers. So that gives us 60 borers in total and a mean of 60 borers divided by 100 plants equals 0.6. So in here we're going to have e to the minus 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 to the power of 0 divided by 0 factorial. Here it'll be e to the minus 0 0.6 again times 0 0.6 to the power of 1 divided by 1 factorial. So if we work out e to the minus 0 0.6, that's 0 0.549, times 0 0.6 to the 0 divided by 0 factorial, that's 1. Our next will be 0 0.0549 times 0.6 to the power of 1 divided by 1 factorial or 0.329. The last cell we'll just get by subtraction because we can just go 1 minus 0.549 minus 0.329 gives us 0.122 in there. To get the number of plants expected, all we have to do is multiply these chances by the total number of plants to give us 54.9, 32.9, and 12.2 plants expected.